I think when you first decide to become a foster parent, that's a really, really big decision. When I first became a foster parent, I already had an enjoyment of children. Um, I had a lot of young children in my family, an extended family, and I always enjoyed that. And it was just something, I, I was a big brother for a while, for about a year or two, and I had a friend who was involved in foster care, and she convinced me to give it a try, and she said, I know this really adorable eight-year-old. Take him for a weekend. And magic, it just happened. I got hooked, and after that, it was a very easy decision to become a foster parent. You can analyze for weeks, months, and years and never do it. So my advice is just jump in. It all works out pretty well. So my life before coming into Dan's home, I was in residential, and I was in this one residential place for eight years. And before that, I was probably in 30, 40 different foster homes. It was just tough. When I was told that I was going to be moving in with Dan, I was a little bit scared, but I was happy at the same time because finally I got to be in a family, so I was happy about that. He sent me a book about uh, just who he was, a picture of like what my bedroom would be like, what he does. So everything that was in the book I just really liked, so I decided to give him a chance. It took about six months. We started with day visits and then gradually went longer and longer over time until finally I moved in. The first night I moved in, I was a little bit scared. I don't know, it felt different. It felt like I was safe and it was just weird being by myself in a home. When I first saw my bedroom, I thought it was the biggest bedroom I've ever had. It was my own room to do whatever I wanted to. Transitioning into a family, it wasn't that difficult once I got used to it. Maybe like the first couple days, but then after like a week I was like going everywhere and doing everything. So it was pretty fun and pretty, pretty easy. I loved it and I'm glad that I did it. I guess with Bobby, my first child, I don't think I had too many surprises. But Joe, who was my third foster child, um, was older. And when a 14-year-old comes to you, it's a little bit of a different experience than an 8-year-old. And I think the most difficult thing or the most surprising thing with Joe was he came to me at an age when adolescents just biologically break away from their parents. And all of a sudden, you have to develop a relationship with this adolescent. One of the most important aspects of being a foster parent is to connect with some support. And by support, I mean people that understand what you're doing. I can promise you they're probably not part of your circle of friends. And they may have raised children, they may be the best parents in the world, but they will not understand completely the dynamics of raising a child who's not your own, who's had a traumatic past. So you need to find people who has that, have that experience. And the best place to find that is a foster parent support group. So when you choose your agency, spend a lot of time questioning the quality and the depth of their foster parent support group. That one resource can make or break the arrangement. So I think that's, a, I've learned that's an important focus uh, for a beginning foster parent. Make sure you have good support. I think a kid, when he first moves into a foster family, he really needs to know that the parent is gonna stick with him no matter what. I, I did trust Dan more and more as time went on. At first, I really didn't know what to think of him. I thought he was just a staff member or something like that. I tested Dan a lot by acting up to see if he was really committed to being a foster parent and he never disappointed me. I would give the following advice to foster parents. Just do it. Jump in the water. I think you'll find it an enjoyable experience. Make sure your expectations are reasonable and just enjoy the ride. It's a great ride. If you're thinking about being a foster parent, you should do it because it's so much fun and the reward is great. Kids need families to grow up. That's, that's just what they need.